the Models tab of the Wright Capital Advisor portal allows you to create a variety of custom models, which will then be available for use within all of your client plans. In this way, Wright Capital provides you with granular control over several crucial aspects of each and every client plan. The fifth model type is Retirement Spending Strategies, which can be accessed via the Advisor Portal, Models, Retirement Spending tab. Retirement Spending Strategies are used to apply dynamic adjustments to a client's retirement living expenses. These strategies allow retirement spending to adapt in specific ways to projected market conditions and lifestyle changes as clients age. There are five default spending strategies that you'll find pre-built for you here within the Models tab. Inflation Adjusted is the default setting for retirement expenses and will cause the client's spending to increase by your general inflation rate each year within the plan. The general inflation rate can be found and adjusted within the More Menu Assumptions tab of the Advisor Portal. The remaining four strategies have rules and parameters that you can freely adjust to best suit your needs. The Retirement Spending Smile, also known as the Blanchett Spending Smile, will increase expenses by general inflation minus a specified percentage. This can be used to model a steady decrease in a client's retirement spending as they age, or to offset increasing healthcare costs within a client's retirement years. Retirement Spending Stages is a popular strategy that will split a client's retirement years into three distinct phases. An expense adjustment or specific percentage reduction will occur at the beginning of the second and third stages. The first stage will always begin in the year of retirement, and the last stage will always continue until the end of the client plan. You have full control over the rest of the age bands for each stage. The floor and ceiling strategy will cause retirement spending to fluctuate with market performance within a specified range or corridor. Spending is reduced in years of down markets, but no lower than your specified floor. In years of strong markets, spending will be increased, but no higher than your specified ceiling. Last is the guardrail strategy, also known as the Guyton and Klinger decision rules. This strategy will cause retirement spending to fluctuate based on withdrawal rates from invested assets during a specific time frame. If the client's withdrawal rate in a given year exceeds the threshold for the capital preservation rule, spending will be reduced. If it drops below the lower threshold for the prosperity rule, spending will increase. You can tweak the age range, guardrail threshold, and expense adjustment for each of these rules. For more details and background information on each of the spending strategies, please feel free to take a look at the Wright Capital Help Center. In addition to editing the default spending strategies, you also have the ability to create new spending strategies by clicking the Add Spending Strategy button in the upper left. After being added, you can rename your new strategy by clicking the pencil and paper icon to the right of the strategy name. Then, you can use the Strategy Type field to determine which of the default strategies you'd like to use as the basis for your new strategy. The rules and parameters for your custom strategy will change depending on your chosen option. You are free to adjust the parameters for your custom spending strategy as you see fit. After dialing in your parameters, click the blue Save button in the lower right. At this point, your new spending strategy will be available for use within each of your client plans. Retirement spending strategies can be applied within two different areas of a financial plan. The first area is within the Profile Goals section within the Retirement Expense Goal Card. If you're still within the initial six steps of data entry for a client, this would be step six. By selecting a retirement spending strategy here, that will be incorporated into the client's current plan in their future-looking retirement projections. The second area is within the Retirement Analysis section. This is where you can propose a new spending strategy for a client's proposed plan. Scroll down to the action items at the bottom of the page, and then look for the retirement spending strategy in the right-hand column. 
After selecting a spending strategy here, click refresh in the lower right to update your proposal and see the impact of the new spending strategy. After being implemented, your chosen spending strategy can be best visualized within the Retirement Details tab of the Retirement Analysis module. This page has a retirement spending chart that allows you to isolate just the retirement living expenses within your proposal. This is a great place to see the impact of different spending strategies on a client's year-to-year -year retirement expenses. For more information on creating and applying retirement spending strategies in Right Capital, please feel free to reference the resources within the Right Capital Help Center or to reach out to our advisor support team for more details.